Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, AvrielR32 here, and destroy the absolute massive amount of changes with boo-boo stains on that like and subscribe button. You like what I did there? So we can climb even higher, the 1500 ladder. Ladies and gentlemen, Raigeki's at three. If you look at this translation, they have just unleashed the strongest combo. You activate Raigeki, you summon your Silver Fang, and you attack direct for 1200. This is, of course, the OCG balanced, and yes, as the title says, I'm sorry if it's a little clickbaity, but this really does have massive implications for the format. Um, so I really wanna talk about this, cause uh, huh, this one is uh, an obvious one right here. Um, yeah, let's dive into this because this has some massive implications. So starting off, there's one band card, it's Beatrice. Um, should we really be surprised? The OCG does things very conservatively, if you notice. Like, they put Beatrice from three to one, like, as if it wasn't causing issues already, but whatever. Um, limited. So they put Dryden back to one for, like, the fifth time. I think Dryden has been banned one at three. It's never been at two. So it's almost like the new ultimate offering because back in the day ultimate offering used to move all over the balance masterpiece is finally back at one people have been begging for the master of pieces to come back to one do i think that this is going to do anything in 2024 not really we're not in a god it's so weird to say slower time but it was slower compared to now but a slower time when zodiac was tier zero and there were some builds that would combine true draco and true kings and all that with zodiac and play masterpiece um i don't think masterpiece at one will really do anything so it's going to be interesting to see if since it won't do anything or if it does nothing in the ocg if it comes back on our tcg list which i predict our next list is probably going to be like december or probably deep january 1st uh dragoons at one they banned dragoons forever ago but we all know that anaconda was the problem snatch steel at one that's just copying the tcg Black Witch at 1 and Poplar at 1. I think that Black Witch at 1 is eventually going to happen here in the TCG. You know, you got to keep in mind that looking at OCG balance, you may think, well, Avery, it's OCG. They've got Max C, whatever. You know, it's a totally different format. Yes, but it also has implications for our ban list. Uh, Master Shits, to a lesser degree, has implications on our ban list. Because there are some things that they pull from Master Shits um, to put on our ban list. But they also pull very heavily from the... OCG. I mean, you can look back throughout the years as the balance have been separated, how they have pulled things and done things differently. Um, so yeah, they're just copying the TCG. The TCG will copy OCG and vice versa, putting Poplar at one. I think we'll eventually see Black Witch at one. And I think we'll eventually see Engraver and Chundra at one as well in our format. And just even going harder in the paint, they put Phantom of Ubel at one, Tract at one, and Bonfire at one. The TCG, most builds I see that use Fiendsmith cards only play one track, so I don't know if they're going to really do that here in the TCG as well. Um, but moving on to the semi-limits, as if there weren't enough hits already, uh, we've got Eva at 2, Terratop at 2, Pankratops at 2. Pankratops was at 1 in the OCG, if I remember correctly. Invoker at 2, it was at 1. Luster Pendulum uh, is at 2. Uh, Gold Sark to 2. Uh, sure, I, I think that uh, the TCG player base would do some toxic things with this card if it came back to two or three. Uh, Fusion Destiny, but whatever. Branded Opening is whatever. Nightmare Throne to two. Uh, I, this is going to probably be more like something that goes to one in the TCG. Goes a match to two. Fuck that. No, uh, that does not need to come back to two in the TCG. Uh, the TCG player base is too toxic for that. And the number one thing is the maximum of all C's. Max C is at two. Now, could we see what happened here in the TCG years ago when they got rid of Max C? Probably, if things continue in the uh, in the OCG the way that things have been, which is where they've been playing nine freaking Max C's. Uh, but when Max C was legal here in the TCG, it was at three, then it went to two, then it went to one, and then it got banned. The consensus on Max C. Uh, over the years, and even when it was getting moved down on the balance till it was eventually banned, when it's at three, it's basically like what is now Shifter, right? Where you have a 33% chance to see it. If you see it, you see it. It is what it is. But at two, it's a little bit more luck sacky, but you have less of a chance to see it. And then at one, it's just a fucking luck sack card and it needs to be banned. Because at one, you have a 16% chance to see it in a 40 card deck. And if you see it, you just win. Um, and now we're seeing that again, which is very much with the dimension shifter effect, where you see shifter, you win the ball game. Unless you're playing a table 500 deck that doesn't care about Maxi or it's named Tempai, depending on how Tempai opens. 
I think that this sets a precedent that we will eventually see Max C banned in the OCG. And I think that Foie Ross and Molchami Perulia are going to be the new age Max Cs where they're kind of balanced. Um, because, I mean, you have to think. The OCG has three Perulia, three Foie Ross, and then they had three Max C. So now they've gone from nine Max Cs to eight. That's not much of an improvement, but now you have less of a chance to see max c at two compared to three it still needs to be banned because if you put it to one it just becomes a luck sack card and then at three all the dragon rulers that's fine which is still crazy to see uh plush fire to three who cares it got narada quick fix i don't really think that does anything because i believe resort is banned in the ocg zeus to three who cares kieran to three who cares uh raigeki to three we've had it at three for years uh lightning storm to three i would love to see lightning storm at three in the tcg i think it'd be fine having it at two is just weird and then my friend at three th these are just some things that konami's konami of japan i should say is bringing off their list because konami of japan has like a lot of weird hits on their ban list like if you just look up like Yu-Gi-Oh ocg ban list and like you look at all the cards that they've hit They've hit, like, all the cannon soldiers, Toon Cannon Soldier, Amazonas Archer, because they've had problems with FTKs in the past. Like, they, they just got so many weird hits that they could very easily make our ban list, or, or rather, uh, have their ban list be exactly the same as ours, but with, like, I guess Maxi at 2, and, like, it would be fine. Um, but what do I think of this list? Honestly, if Konami of TCG brought i would say 90 percent of these changes over to the tcg like on our next list plus other things i think it would be a fantastic list obviously we wouldn't want to see maxi in the game for anyone saying maxi's healthy that's because you play too much master ships like no i've had people tell me that master ships is just its own format i'm like no it's not they've already advertised it as an official simulator for years and it's a garbage game and it's a garbage format but i digress um if they were to, like, do all of this in the TCG minus, like, a couple things like Gozen and Maxi and all that, I think it'd be great. I mean, bring back the Dragon Rulers to three. I think we'll see that on our next list. Um, having Quick Fix at three, I think we already have Quick Fix at three. Uh, Lightning Storm to three, I think would be awesome. Nightmare Throne and Phantom will probably go to one. Black Witch to one. Engraver and Chundra to one. Bonfire probably to one because they just reprinted it. We could maybe, th this is the big thing, this is like the biggest implications for our next ban list. Whether or not we see Masterpiece and Dryden come back to one, and I would still like to see Invoker come back to one. I don't know why Konami's dragging their feet on that, because it wouldn't do anything here, I feel. But people would love to play with Dryden again, and people would really love to play with Masterpiece again. So... If you want to, like, get ahead of the curve, you probably want to buy out Dryden and Masterpiece if it hasn't happened already. Um, and you may even want to, like, I wouldn't say buy Max C. I wouldn't even say buy Invoker. Maybe buy Gold Sark because maybe it could come back. The Dragon Motors are definitely going to be back at three um, because I, if I remember correctly, they're all semi-limited for us here in the TCG. But... I think that this list is really cool, especially for the OCG where they've just been in like an eternal Snake Eyes format, and now they've got Crossover Breakers, which has really um, shuffled up their format a bit, no pun intended, but I think that post now Crossover Breakers, I think all the decks in Crossover Breakers, like Malice and Rise and all that, are going to be the best decks in the room. I think Ubel is still going to be decent, but now it suffers from the Tempai effect with Sangin Summoning, where they activate Nightmare Throne, and you just negate it or pop it, and then they just lose access to it, and Phantom of Ubel at 1, they're going to have to like maybe go back to playing Loving Defender or something, and Fiendsmith is still playable, but now you kind of lose consistency with Engraver and Tract both at 1. Um... Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the OCG, but um, this this has a lot of implications for our TCG list, and I think it's going to be very interesting moving forward once we get our new list come December or January, what will be brought back. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think down in the comments below. What are some of your favorite changes? What are you hoping to see on our next ban list? Even though I think this format is okay, pre-rage the abyss, because then uh, you're going to have to get some lube. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.